going on guys we finally got out here we're doing some fishing we're doing some vertical jigging out here the game has changed the water is higher this year it's a little bit cooler than it should be this time of the year so we're going to vertically jig using different presentations lipless cranks even swim baits with quarter ounce presentations it's 18 inch clarity so it's kind of cleaner than usual so instead of them being in those back coves there's a lot of carp back there so we had to change our strategy so we're going to figure them out uh, paul is trying to get into some uh, so we're trying different things and nick is behind the camera so let's get out there and see if we can catch some guys see you guys in a bit all right guys let me show you what my gear is today we're going with an omen black 13 fishing rod it's medium heavy with about eight pound p line fluorocarbon with a shimano sedona reel at 2500 I'm basically just casting it and working it slowly back with a quarter ounce jig head and a gulp alive minnow. Basically I toss it, pop, pop, leave it, pop, pop, leave it, kind of giving it two to four seconds between each pop. That's how we'll be getting into them. All of us are using that method. We're in about 10 to 15 feet of water. Uh, this just happens to be a cove that's producing some. So let's get back out there and see if we can catch a whole bunch more. There we go, far as you can go. Just watch your line. Pretty much it'll stop once it's reached the bottom, like there, so pop, pop. Pop, pop. You'll get a lot of hits, but you don't always hook into them pretty good. And then it, and then it, you know, eventually you get them pretty good. Got him, got him guys, way out there, 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 Paul. That's okay. I think we've got an average we're catching out here. 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Nick, will you, uh... Yeah. Oh, 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 he's going for a run. Holy crap, what do we have, Paul? I've never seen a run like this. This might not be a walleye, folks. I'm oh, it is a walleye. Wow! Wow! Oh wow! You see those? See those runs? Wow! All right, guys. I was working that the same way I was explaining to you, and that fish, smack Paul. They fight. Whoever said they don't fight is just dead wrong. Dude. I said that. I think. Let's see where we're at. Paul said 19. Oh, 18. Fat 18. Fat 18. Fat 18. Let's let him go. All right, guys, I'm gonna go to a, a vertical jig right below me since we're marking a very decent amount right below the boat. I'm just gonna keep it kinda, but what I'm doing is I'm just twitching, twitching a few times. Just let it drop, twitch, 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 twitch. I either casting it out there and twitching it back or right below the boat vertically jigging. Both have done good. I'd say getting it out there way more has done better. I think just less noise and you're able to cover way more water on the way back. Got him. Got him right below the boat, guys. This is, feels good, actually. Nope, nope, small. Eh? Well, nothing we're gonna win the tournament with, but uh, super good, though. Super good and fun. There you go, Paul, nothing big, man, but below the boat. It's a very effective method. So let's get down there for marking more, which pretty much on the fish finder, it's been nonstop uh, as far as seeing them down below. But I might just start casting out there to see if I can get something of better size. So let's catch one more under us though. It's way too much fun. Way too much. Oh, oh, freaking April. Just had a massive hit. I was not ready for that, guys. I was looking at Paul's technique, trying to learn. Pretty sure I lost it gulp alive now. Another. Are you vertical digging? Yes, I am. Bigger. Oh my gosh. Make, 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 make. We've got a better one, guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Paul. Got, got a tournament measuring one. Oh, all right, guys. Hold on. I can't. Hold on. Thank you. Oh yeah. What do you think, Paul? All right, guys, let's measure him. About 20, 20 and a dot, 20 and a dot. What 
Wow, the water is alarmingly clear, dude. I can see two, three feet down. Oh, oh, guys, Paul is doing this vertical jigging style. Paul has got that deep. Nick, go ahead and net it for him. Yep, yep, yep. I'm filming. This is where they are, they're in the deeper water, dude. That sucks. But, hey. At least you're catching. That's a 20. One twenty-two. Let me see. Eighteen. Eighteen. Fat eighteen though. These fish are really fat. All right. Got him, Nick. Did you do? I don't know. I got. I had a fish on. I had a fish on for sure. Got him. Got him. See, yep, yep. Fish. Paul, I'll do what you're doing finally. I finally got it down, dude. Nicholas, you got that net? I finally got it down. Thank you, Paul. It really is kind of a finesse thing, huh? We just gotta really set the hook when we do, fellas. Gotta kind of pin him. Oh, yeah, that's a nice. Eh, it's about the average we're catching. Yeah. Paul, what was your estimated guess, my friend? 20 under dot. Let's let him go slow mo. We got a tournament next week here, guys, so we're just trying to figure it out, but. Sometimes these vertically jigging style sufficient is just the way to go. Way too fun. That quarter ounce lets you get down there faster. I love it. Ooh, a little bright out here. Fifteen feet, nice, dude. Very nice. Yes, massive. Got it. Oh, Dad, I did. Oh my God, Paul. Got it. Got it. Double up. Double. Double. Right. Double. My God off. Well, I my God off. Generally, for not getting them in the area we were getting them. What we'll do is, you know, if you have a boat, an anchor lock, move about 50 feet to any direction and uh, start casting again. Usually doing that uh, takes you over another area where those where those fish might be more active than the ones we've been trying to get. So that's what we're doing and seeing if we can maybe score a few more before we leave the area and I think uh, call that a day. Yeah, let's see if I can get me a drum. I wonder what it is. I'm going down there, Paul, just uh, to vertically jig for shits and giggles. Yeah. Make a quick drum episode. Got him. Got him, guys. Yeah, it's not a drum. I think it's a crappie. It is a crappie. I believe it's a crappie. Ah, no. This will be a state record. What's oh, a walleye? It is a walleye. How deep? Both. Were you all the way down? Both, I'm serious. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, well, I was where Paul said. Swim bait, swim bait, swim bait. Even though this is a two inch swim bait. Yeah, baby. Let's let him go. That's only me and you, Nick. I'd be like, you'll catch him and I won't. Like, no way. I like to think I'm a decent fisherman, Nick, and if I can't catch one, it ain't that easy. Yeah, we're not vertically jigging. He's not working. What you try it, Paul? See if we can get one vertically jigging, so we can tell us what we gotta do. Got him, Jesus! Hey. Vertically jigging, Paul. You're gonna laugh at me at what I caught him with, by the way. One and a half inch, one and a half inch swim uh, lipless crank. It's this tiny, Paul. Yeah. Four. 
four pound test guys crappie you got it. yep damn it feels good to freaking catch one paul jesus i think i'm fat 15 16 maybe not maybe 14 all right guys 13 fishing magic man oh it came out wow could have lost that fish as easy as i caught it Paul's at 17 quarter inch guys shy of an 18. Got one. Nick got one. Nick got one, guys. Nick got one. There they go. They outfished it, huh? Yes, Nick. Good job, boy. Here. Vertically, uh huh. Yep. I had a tap for it. Would you like to get it yourself, Nick? There you go. There you go, bud. Yeah, yeah, nice work, Nick. Measure that bad boy. It's right below your feet. All right, Nick. 17 and a half on the dot. Vertical. Oh, ho, ho. Man, I miss a lot. Sir, I miss a lot. So I'm just doing a little. Little twitches, twitches. Fish? Yeah, I got one. Oh yeah, I knew I got your ball. I got you. Oh, Paul's got a good one, we think. Paul's got a good one, we think. I got your back. Actually, you want to just net it? Yeah. Ooh. That's a big one. That is a 20. Would you like me or? Yeah, if you don't mind. I do not mind at all, my friend. He's at least an 18er. Thank you, sir. I'm just uh, bouncing him off the bottom. So, let's see how long. He's probably that 19. Nah, he's a fat, fat 18. Just uh, go in him. Check that baby out. Yeah, when when start at like 1. And then, yeah, and then it goes to like 30 miles per hour. At, at what time? Uh, well, let's see. We can we can handle 10:15. One, and then it starts going down at. Oh my God! Way out there, fellas. It starts going down at 3 a.m. Can't believe I didn't hook that one. Got him! Got him, Nick. He even feel small. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's a that's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. All right, Nick. Dang, thank you, sir. So much. Wow, he hit that beautifully right in the snoot, right in the beak. Yeah, right on placed. Let's let him go. Let him go. Let him grow. Alright guys, a little bit of a midday update. We have caught over probably 30 walleyes. The crappie I don't think are ready yet, but we're gonna try one more area really quick. But basically, yeah, while I have been on fire, we were doing just really just vertical jigging. Um, so we're gonna give it a, a couple more hours, a few more fish probably, and call it a day before the winds come in. So let's see how we do for the rest of the day. You do? Oh, you can probably. Yeah, boy. Let's see. Just in case. Ah, it's nice to measure. Gotta ah, get it out of here. 16 on the dot. Now, army, stay here. The f Maybe they follow that one. That one in. Got him. Got him. 
Ooh, decent. Oh yeah. Either that or they look big. Under the water. Maybe some jalapeno pepper will bring me in. I'll buy it. Oh, yummy. God, oh my God, Paul. Got him. Oh my, dude. Seriously. I realize I'm eating a jalapeno pepper, man. Come back. I'm back. That was like six, seven hits, guys. Ah, that sucks. I hate it when they get off four attempts. I'm gonna go right back to that spot, though. Nick, that will be a pupper is so good. You want another one? No. Uh -uh. Don't switch it on me. Every time I put a ruler, there you go, sweet. 18, 8, 17 and a half. Can't, it cannot be walleye, Paul, because they would hit already. Yeah, cooperate with us fish gods. Finally, fellas. Paul. Oh, I think those are carp. Yes. All right, Nick. I'm gonna need a net, but I'm afraid it's a carp in the butthole. Yeah, well, I was sending that and then vertically pop, pop. Oh, it's right there. Oh my God, it's my lie, I think. I'm snacked with you. No, that's not a master, but it is a walleye. Oh. Paul the weight off. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> cold, cold, Nick. Ouch. I thought it was a car. I thought so too. Did you see how well it fought, Nick? Yeah. Paul, that thing was pulling me, dude. Yeah, and it's fat. Fat, fat, fat. Nice, and he didn't rip the damn gulpy into shreds. There you go, guys. Paul said it is what, 918? I like these fun guesses, guys. Oh. It's 18 on the dot. 18 on the dot. All right, guys, it's getting really white capped. We're gonna call it a day. Let's release the slow-mo. Alrighty guys, we're gonna call it a day. It got uh, really windy out here, but we ended up catching a lot of walleye. Probably over 40, hands down easily. A vertical jig in today's game was the vertical jig when we went shallow. They weren't really following swim baits until we casted them and just popped them back, as you saw throughout the video. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. It's getting really bright out here and the wind is getting ridiculous. It's pretty much white capping behind us, but I'm gonna sign out. We got a tournament coming up in a couple of days. This one's scouting, so we may have to just keep working the jig in. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Please subscribe below if you haven't yet. Leave a comment. I fish for all kinds of species all over Colorado. Make sure you guys watch me. Until next time, guys, take it easy.